Sadly, while I stand here and speak for the next three minutes, more than 100 people around the world will die of a heart disease. Do you know one major factor which increases our risk of heart diseases? It is incorrect choices of food. And one such incorrect choice is high salt consumption, which is associated with increased risk of high blood pressure, heart diseases, and stomach cancer. Increasing awareness about healthy eating habits has left many of us wondering about whether to eat the salty food or not. Now let me ask you, how many of you like eating cheese? I can see many of you love it, just like I like eating cheese. But do you know that cheese may contain very high levels of salt? And that is what makes me afraid of eating the cheese. This dilemma of whether to cheese or not to cheese encouraged me to pursue my research about salting the cheese. I have aimed to reduce the salt in cheese to attain dual benefits. First, to reduce the risk of heart diseases. And second, to increase the activity of the good bacteria, which are called the probiotic bacteria, added in the cheese to make it healthier. In, in my research, I found that high salt content significantly alters the structure and function of these probiotic bacteria. It makes them less active and unhealthy. These probiotic bacteria will not be considered good if they cannot attach to the human intestine. I found that 25% reduction in salt significantly improves their ability to attach to the human intestinal cells, which means that as probiotics, they will be able to confer their intended health benefits only if they are able to attach to the human intestinal cells. Reducing the salt by 25% in cheese is good enough to control high blood pressure, to maintain the health properties of cheese, to maintain the taste and texture of cheese, but most importantly, to maintain the activity of these probiotic bacteria in the cheese. Furthermore, the growth of the human intestinal cells was significantly improved when we added these low salt cheese. Whereas interestingly, the growth of human intestinal cancer cells was significantly reduced. And this clearly shows the multiple health benefits of low salt food products. Now coming back to the question of whether to cheese or not to cheese, well, the answer seems quite obvious because low salt food products were able to improve the growth of the probiotic bacteria. They were able to improve their attachment to the human intestinal cells and also they were able to improve the growth of the human intestinal cells. I would conclude by saying that we all should be mindful of our consumption of salted dairy products. Um, only until we find my new low salt probiotic cheese in the supermarket. Thank you.